When you're designing Infusion 360 in a, a complicated assembly, you may want to take the components and then put them into sub-assemblies to consolidate your tree and make it more usable for your drawing. That is a very simple task by simply taking the component and dragging into another component to make a sub-assembly. Let's get started. So the first step is to make a new component. You don't want to use an existing fastener and drag the others into it because that means the fastener will be the top level sub-assembly. So go to create new component, make it a standard component. Let's call it the component called just call it fasteners. Say okay. Un it's not too friendly. It goes to the bottom and you can't change the order of it, but it is at the bottom. So let's go up into the tree and use my shift key and control key, highlight all the fasteners. And there's some down here too. So that's all the fasteners. Now simply left click and drag it into the fastener folder and it'll reorganize. Now all the fasteners are underneath that component as a subassembly. Now the tree gets a little messy. So what you need to do is highlight one of them, hold your shift key down, highlight the other end, and then right click and create group. That'll clean it up nicely. Now let's make another subassembly to put all the base components in it. So right now this fastener is active. You want to go back to the top level and make it active so that your sub assembly will appear under the top level. So hit create new component let's call it base assembly or base components. Say OK. It drops down the bottom. Now select all your base components. This one's grounded. It doesn't make any difference. It will still bring it along. So the base we're going to make the uh, flywheel post. Use the control key and shift. I'm just using my control at this point. And I'm going to make the um, vowel port block that sits on the bottom as a part of this. Left click, take off your control, left click, and drag it into the new base components. Let's do another. Again, go back to your top level. We're going to do one for all the drive mechanisms. So create new component. We'll call it drive components. There you go. Now the drive components will be this one. I can probably use my shift key for this and select down to this one. Now I need to pick up, well that's about it, those ones right there. Left click, drag, and place in drive components. I have one more sub-assembly I want to create, all the sheet metal components. So again, let's activate the top level, create, new component. This one's going to be a sheet metal component. And I'm going to call it guards. Well, actually, it's not a guard. It's sheet metal components. Say OK. Now I simply grab all the sheet metal components using my control key and drag them into it. Now, notice I have a little bit of an issue. I missed two of the fasteners. So simply left click on both of them with the control key and drag it into the fastener folder. Now there's another thing you can do. Let's say that in the base components I put this valve port plate. That's really part of the drive. So I want to put it into the drive components folder. So simply drag it out of that and put it into the drive components. If you find you don't want a component inside one of the sub-assemblies, you can simply drag it out back to the top level. 
There's the flywheel post now part of the top level. I'm going to put it back because it truly is part of the base components. So your flexibility is pretty much infinite. One side benefit of this method is to have sub-assembly drawings. As you can see here, I can make a drawing for each one of the sub-assemblies. That may be a choice that helps you out. There's one side thing you need to do. When you're doing these sub-assemblies, it will turn on all the joints. So you need to expand each one to see the joints folder and turn it off again. Just so it doesn't clutter up the model. So, after you finished, you have a nice clean assembly and sub-assemblies that you can arrange any way you want by simply dragging components around. I hope this gives you better models in Fusion 360.